Oh, welcome back to the Morning Blend. This beautiful spot in ancient Tuscany is home to three generations of winemakers. It's a small family winery located in a small village, but it produces some of the highest quality wines in the world. Giuseppe Sala is here all the way from Italy to help us solve the mystery, cork or screw top. Today, a little one, wine 101. And we'll talk about the cork screw top thing in a second because I know you have strong opinions about it. But let's just start about your family where you grew up and what it's like. I mean, I think a lot of people dream about it, but what's it like to actually live in Tuscany and live with your family in this beautiful land? It's beautiful, you know. For me, I just, uh, you know, I just bought in Tuscany and uh, I spent that a uh, lot of my life. And I'm the third generation and my family produced uh, wine since 1950. So let's say that I just, uh, I born in Florence, but uh, I was raised at the winery. And in the past it was, you know, was not so, I don't want to say so cool, but when you are a kid, especially living in the countryside, a little bit far from your friends, okay, was, uh, now it's just beautiful. I love to live there and uh, it's... Uh, yeah, when I look at these pictures, Giuseppe, I just think it looks like a place that a lot of people dream of. When you step outside of the winery or your house, do you look at that and do you appreciate the beauty of it? Every morning, every morning I have my breakfast and this view. Yeah. What do you eat for breakfast? Oh, I'm a strange. I don't like too much uh, sweet. I like uh, bruschetta with tomato and uh, olive oil. That's what I like. Of course, my coffee in the beginning and then my... And then your bruschetta. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I like that. And the wine that you make, I, is wine better in Italy? Does, does wine that's actually made in Italy taste better? I don't want to say that the wine, it's better. It's a different kind of grape, okay? So it has uh, different wine characteristics. So it means uh, it's, um, it's different than the wine that maybe can be produced in the United States. You know, each country has its own characteristics. That's why. A lot of people get headaches from wine, but I've heard, and, and Tiffany will say this, you go to Italy, you drink the wine there, and you don't get a headache. What is it about Italian wine that's different maybe than wine from other places where you don't get a headache? Yes, it's the different um, quantity of sulfites in it. The sulfites mm -hmm. in it. Is that like salt? Or is no, it the way it's preserved? It is a sulfites is a preserve, okay, and uh, is uh, SO2 in chemistry is SO2 okay. is an un a gas that comes from underground, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, in in Italy, let's say we use in, in small quantity because our wine doesn't they don't need too much sulfites. A lot of sulfites uh, needed when uh, you have a big winery and you buy a lot of grape and you blend the wine, you know and you make big numbers, yeah. millions bottles. So that's you need sulfites and that's what uh, can give you some trouble. I love the picture that we have of you and Barbara. So this American blonde woman comes to Italy, you <laughs> meet her, the two of you fall in love. Is it true that Italian men like blondes better? Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Tiffany's like, <laughs> 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 Probably, you know, we have in uh, our Mediterranean uh, color is, you know, is, it's uh, the black, okay, so right. black hair, so blonde, it's more uh, temptation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's more, um, it, you don't see it so much, it's more rare to yeah, find correct, blonde correct, in correct, Italy. Yeah, yeah. I get that, it's a little bit more exotic. All right, let's talk about wine, because we got to solve this question. Cork or screw top? What do you, what's your opinion about that? Cork. I'm not a big fan of the screw top and uh, for many different reasons. Uh, of course, in, in, in Tuscany, high quality wine, the top quality wine, they don't have screw top. Okay? Also, if the screw top in the last few years has begun, uh, it's begun the answer for, uh, you know, beat the, the cost to... of the cork because uh, mm -hmm. a cork like that can arrive to cost cost uh, around 50, 60 cents a cork. Mm -hmm. When you buy a screw top, uh, we're talking about a few cents. It is easier to open. Really quickly, how do you keep white wine and red wine, and how long should you keep it once it's opened? Okay, white wine and red wine, if you need to storage, I will keep a red wine around from 55 to 58 degrees. Okay. Okay. Then I will keep the, let's say the white, a little bit more chilly, like uh, around, uh, 48.50. That's the perfect Degrees. for the white wine. And how long do both of those last once you open them? That depends. Uh, 
very much for the quality of the wine and the the grape inside you know you cannot say this wine can last uh, this wine can last for 20 years wow. because it's 100% only one grape okay it's a grape that uh, can age very well there is some wine that uh, you need uh, with the truth up you need to drink maybe in a couple of years gotcha so do you do, do you drink wine every day Every single day. So yeah. I love that. <laughs> All right, here's your website. Where, and I will caution people, it's in Italian. But say the name of the website. Iselvatici.it. Okay, and the English translation, I'll spell it for you so you can check out the wine. It's I-S-E-L-V-A-T-I-C-I dot I-T. It was a pleasure, Correct. Giuseppe. My pleasure. Thank you so much My for pleasure. being here. Thank it was great Thank to you. meet you finally.